Hey everyone, Adam Savage here in my cave with a quick one day build, uh, specifically around this astronaut. This is, um, this is a, <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, this is an XEMU spacesuit. Uh, it is a one quarter scale astronaut figure made by Blitzway. Uh, and I, I actually purchased this years ago and it took a couple of years for them to deliver. It is a magnificent piece. Um, I believe it has a core of some very stable resin. Um, it came in some pieces in a giant box. It's a beautiful piece and it has these giant chunks of the International Space Station that it displays with. But I have an issue with its display, which is that it's too big. Um, the display of this astronaut encompasses a base that is like like 18 inches wide and these giant big tubes. I mean, from a manufacturing and engineering standpoint, it's a masterpiece. From a home shop uh, display place, it's a disaster because it's just way too big. I don't have that much surface area in my shop to display something like that. So I have some of these spare circles of plywood. These are left over from some gig. Really can't remember which. I think Jen Schachter cut these out on the CNC router. Um, and uh, a maker's axiom is that you never throw out a circle. There's always a use for a circle. If it's a ring, if it's a circle, don't throw it out. So I save every circle. I've got a huge circle plywood and other materials circle bin upstairs. I pulled down three and I've got some all thread. This is a half inch 13 all thread. And uh, there is a mounting block on this astronaut and it's over here, right here. So what I'm thinking of is to mount the astronaut kind of like this, kind of over the center of his gravity. Yes, now you see how much less surface area that takes up? It's just this small piece in theory. Uh, that's today's one day build. It's a lot of mechanical force that we're applying on this thing. So we're gonna have to be careful about it. But I am, I am optimistic. Um, the first, really the first step is to figure out the center of gravity of this thing and drill a hole as accurately as we can. Yeah. I have an idea. I have an idea forming in my brain. Uh, this is my Leica uh, uh, laser level. I left some batteries in it and they totally rotted and I had to take it all apart and actually <laughs> scrape the board and re-solder one of the connections, but it worked. And now I have my Leica Nino L2 back on. So let's just turn this on. Uh, I need some. give you a better view on this situation here. Oh, yeah, you can see the laser nice and clearly there. So let's see here. So right there, I'm kind of holding it at his, at his reasonable center of gravity. I, this is not the most efficient way to go about this process, but Does it get me in the ballpark? Let's see here. Yeah, that gets me in the ballpark. So now the question is, what is the, I guess I can, 
go straight along that line. Oh, I think it's better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Better if I'm like that, yeah. So it really comes up that way and that way. Wow, okay. Ooh. Laser off. So I've got a long drill bit and it's undersized to my half inch 13 all thread. So I'm gonna use it to sort of, to sort of, uh, I'm gonna pull some of these pieces off because they don't need to fall off. Um, also, if I get this a little bit dirty, that's fine with me. Astronaut suits are dirty, so I don't mind getting the Blitzway pieces a little bit uh, dinged up, that's, fine with me, it's all inspiration, <sighs> but I have this, right, yeah, it's got to be like that, that is far out, but let's try it. Okay, so, that goes like that, yeah, is that correct? So like this, yeah, it does, perfect. Yeah, I can smell that it's polyester. Oh, did I hit a, um, shoot. There's a metal bar in here, uh, and that's for the strength so that the resin in this doesn't creep. That makes total sense, but it is, it's a thing. Yeah, it's aluminum. Oh, yeah, I gotta, so I gotta get through that.
progress. Oh, gosh. A little cooling fluid, man. A little cutting fluid. Can make all the difference. All right. Okay, let's expand that a little bit. Five sixteenths. Let's try three eighths. Let's just double check this. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Seven sixteenths. He looks so helpless. All right, let's see here. It's not the neatest job, but let's see here. How am I?
Okay. I might be close here. Let's see. <clears throat> I also want to cut this. Wait, I want to double check. Well, it's a much more extreme angle than I was hoping, but, sorry. <laughs> well, it was a more extreme angle than I was hoping. However, it's definitely uh, much closer to his center of gravity. Um, I think I place it over on one side of this rather than in the middle. And I make it like this, right? Yeah, about like that. Okay. So let's cut this here. Got some traction here. So now I want to sandwich it between two of these pieces of wood so I can right, right, right. Okay, great. Let's um yeah, this is the main the main reason I want to get this guy up on a stand is because he's so inspiring to me. Just the look of this beautiful model is itself generative. And so, <clears throat> in its current configuration, it has to sort of lie on its back, and in its uh, shipped configuration, it's too big for me to be able to like have it out and about. So, we're close to really nailing this and getting it uh, all in a nice form factor. So let's drill a hole about here, just to check that. Yeah, great. business. And then there's that business. And then there's that business. And there's this business. Ladies and germs, um, that is something I am pleased about. I think we can tighten this up a little more. I may have to adjust that, but oh, oh, 
I lost a sleeve. Where did I lose a sleeve? Where did you go? Ah, put it in a little container with... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, that. This is that. By the way, look at this. Even the wrist rings are correctly colored. Blue for right, red for left. Lovely. And this guy. Uh, yeah. I know that was silly quick. However, um, yeah, I needed to get this done to get started today. So I thought I'd film it. Thank you guys for joining me for this super quick and dirty one day build. I've got a much better one I'm about to shoot. A much better one? And it's not like a better one. It's just like a different one. It's like more involved in a different way. It's not a simple, yeah. But um, I don't know why I'm telling you about other videos that I made while I'm making this one. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, my astronaut now has a space to float and I'm very happy about it. Uh, thank you for joining me for this one day build. I'm Adam Savage and I will see you next time. One of the things I love about this channel is that we don't make how-to videos so much as we make what happened videos. And what almost always happens are mistakes and screw ups, in fact, they're completely integral to making and honestly to being a person. And to celebrate this, Tested has a new batch of demerit badges for the screw ups you will encounter in the shop. From left to right, we have touching your paint job, assembling things backwards, losing a tiny screw or part, gluing your fingers together and smashing your thumb. And frankly, if you haven't done both of these, even if you're not a maker, I just don't feel like you've experienced enough of the world. I'm not saying get out a hammer and smash your thumb, but I will tell you that the blacker your fingernail after the injury, the less it's gonna hurt in the long run. I almost forgot, these make excellent additions to your shop apron and they are available at tested-store.com.